Shalom Khabarim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, uh, Sputnik News, bringing out a very, very serious article here. Unauthorized purposes is U.S. sending Saudis white phosphorus for Yemen attacks. Now, those of you that know that we have been working on our own story in regards to Syria and these incendiary devices uh, that have been used on the civilian populations, we have seen Western media quite often bring out here recently that the children are being burned and they're demonizing both the Syrian uh, uh, army as well as the Russian army, claiming that they are the very ones that are burning the children using incendiary devices and bombing them. But the question remains is really who is guilty? We have already found a lot of evidence that suggests that it's not Russia, neither is it the Syrian army, but the, uh, the rebels or even part of possibly even the coalition. What is really going on? What is actually happening in Syria as well as in Yemen? Now, it states here, as Saudi Arabia continues its war with Yemen, new evidence suggests that the kingdom has relied on white phosphorus munitions likely supplied by the United States government. They even go further here. New evidence on social media suggests that Saudi Arabia may also be using white phosphorus munitions in these attacks and highly incinerated materials that the United States acknowledge it has sold to the kingdom in the past. All right, now, guys, the concern that I'm seeing in this particular article here is because uh, we have seen a new campaign in Syria to demonize even further the Syrian government as well as Russia with all these little children that have been burned. We've already got the evidence from er Aaron Erdem, who, uh, former Turkish uh, MP member, parliament member there, who clearly indicted uh, the West for the chemical weapons that were smuggled in through Turkey, given to ISIS, and then later, later blamed on the Assad, uh, President, President Bashar al-Assad, for actually uh, conducting a chemical attack on his own people. And we know that these type things are just absurd to begin with. But when we see this, you got to keep in mind, if the United States, according to this article, has supplied the Saudi government with the incendiary munitions, the phosphorus munitions uh, in the past, and we know the Saudis have been working along with Turkey to be able to overthrow Bashar al-Assad uh, in the Middle East to topple the Syrian government for whatever kind of evils that they intend on, then those weapons could easily end up in the hands of whether it be Al-Qaeda, ISIS, uh, the moderate rebels that are backed by the United States. In fact, it seems right now that pretty much all these rebels are backed by the U.S., whether it be ISIS or the moderate rebels. Uh, and so it's really starting to strengthen our own case and even more of a strength of a case, and this is something we'll be reporting on to you guys tomorrow night, uh, is the fact that a peace uh, group from the United States a delegation of peace members went to Syria on their own, uh, put together a delegation and interviewed both the opposition and the Syrian government and different parties that were involved, only to find out, come back and report to the United Nations that the United States is clearly in an invasion mode on Syria and that the media propaganda from the West is being fed uh, to the people uh, of the United States is all propaganda and lies. We'll be bringing all this out to you guys tomorrow night. Stay tuned, and we'll be updating you on more. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.